Hey, my name is Cecily and welcome back to This Week in Rideshare News. This is a roundup of the top stories this week. Uber and Lyft may not be pausing operations after all. Instacart acknowledges a security breach. Caviar drivers migrate to the Dasher app. A settlement has been reached with Caviar and a lady hits a driver's car with a shopping cart. It's This Week in Rideshare News. Instacart released a press release disclosing that some employees may have accessed or viewed more shopping profiles than necessary in their roles as support agents, but they did not find any evidence that the two support agents had downloaded anything digitally. The company is now notifying 2,100 shoppers via email about the incident, and this is the second security incident after hackers put up for sale the details of 278,531 Instacart accounts on the dark web last month. The sole data included names, delivery addresses, the last four digits of people's credit card numbers, and order histories. Now, according to Payments.com, Instacart denied that this ever happened. Uber and Lyft were granted an extension from a California court to maintain operation in the state. The rideshare companies are still fighting <laughs> in order that requires them to reclassify their drivers as employees. Now, Uber and Lyft have threatened to shut down in order to restructure their businesses, which they don't have to, but uh, if they weren't granted the emergency stay. So they will receive the emergency stay, but the battle is not over. Both Uber and Lyft and other gig economy companies like DoorDash and Instacart have all sponsored a ballot measure to protect their current business models. Uh, if you haven't heard, it's called Prop 22. This proposition would create a, an exemption from AB5 that was passed earlier this year, forcing many of these industries, not just gig economy folks, to classify workers as employees rather than independent contractors. Last month, DoorDash began to transition Caviar drivers into the Dasher platform. Uh, if you've been on the Caviar platform, you probably noticed that those numbers of jobs are starting to dwindle, but by Monday, most jobs should be in the Dasher app. You will still be able to access the app until the jobs are all routed through to the Dasher app. And anyone that has a Dasher account will have the option to take both Caviar and DoorDash jobs. A settlement is in order for those involved with the Cole versus Square doing business as Caviar case. All individuals who entered into an agreement with Caviar to use the Caviar mobile application to offer delivery services to customers in California from May 14, 2017 through to February 29, 2020 and performed at least one delivery in California during May 14th through 2017 through February 29th of 2020 have been identified as members of the settlement class. So if you believe that you should have been contacted, you can go to colecaviarsettlement.com for more information. And now for what would you do? An Uber driver shared a video on his channel where a woman decided to hit his vehicle with a shopping cart at Walmart because she was frustrated. You can watch the full video, but here are some snippets and I just wanted to discuss a few things. I said I couldn't tell with your mask on. Are you new to Albuquerque? You know what? This isn't going to work out. I'm not going to pick you up. I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not picking you up. I need to get home. Well, well, that's great, but I'm not picking you up. Hey, don't be hitting my car. What is wrong with you? Don't you be hitting my car? What's your you what's your problem? What is your problem? I need a ride home. Well, that's great, but I'm not going to pick up somebody that's rude. Hey. Are you freaking kidding me? What what why would you hit my car? Why would you why would you hit my car with your shopping cart? Because when you're being rude, ma'am. You are being rude. I just asked if you were new in town. I no, I'm not rude, but I'm not going to pick up somebody that is rude. You hit my car with the shopping cart. I know I did. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Because I wasn't getting my way and I need a ride home. Well, obviously you have a problem. Why would I put you in my car when you're acting this way? You're going to be charged. Okay. The audacity of this lady hitting 
a private vehicle. First, I'll say the video is extremely bizarre. I'm glad this guy got it on tape. I'm actually curious if he ever got any money from the woman, if he called the police. I think that his instincts were spot on when he said, no, I'm not going to <laughs> do business with you. I'm not going to drive you anywhere. You could tell she had, she was a combative kind of person or a person that really didn't understand what was going on. Either way, he said, that's none of my business. And I'm sorry that his car got hit in the process. But yeah, I, I definitely stand behind this 100%. As soon as somebody exhibits some kind of behavior or something that you just don't like, you have a right just to say no, right? Just say no, friends. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. That is it for this week in Riot Chair News. If you are interested in seeing this program, you can subscribe and meet me back here every single Saturday morning. Also, if you have any tips or anything that you would like to see covered, do not hesitate to contact me on my YouTube page at Drive Girl Drive or my Facebook at Drive Girl Drive. Have a blessed week and hope to see you again soon.